Hello everybody, welcome to my video. I'm going to give you a demonstration today on this uh, 360 Fashion Mate Singer Sewing Machine. This is a 1970s model. I'm not sure what year in the 70s. I have it written down somewhere, but it's a 70s model. It has just been professionally serviced, so I know it's in good working condition. I have not sewn on it yet, since before it was serviced, that is. So let me show you how it sews. layers of basic cotton. New needle on here. Alright, we have other stitches over here. Zigzag. Reverse on your zigzag. Then we have another zigzag. Oops, caught there. Catching up on this thread here. Let me take this out of here. It's not a very good piece, but anyway, let's let's look at these seams here. There we go. You see that? I think that's the back. Using white thread and the bobbin. It doesn't show up very well. And here's the red on the top. And you can see right there that all those strings kept, were in the way. Catching up in, in the machine, messing it up. See how those messy threads there you can see that those strings were catching in it right in here all these loose strings that's what was causing it to tangle up right there this is not a real smooth you're going to be sewing with a better piece of fabric than this better cut piece doubling up a little more then you come on over here and you can do uh -oh. man did my bobbin run out yep my bobbin ran out alright well I can show you how to wind a bobbin and I can show you the different types of bobbins see these two I think this metal one's going to work in here now this bobbin right here is a little bit thicker than the bottom one. The bottom one is the one I was using had white and I was looking all around the house and I couldn't find any more small bobbins like that. All I had is the wide ones. And usually when a machine will take a wide bobbin it will also use the, the narrow bobbins. But if it takes the narrow bobbin it won't take the large. So I'm limited on how many bobbins I can use on this machine right now. Now again, that one is narrow. So I think it will work. We'll see. Alright, I'll show you how to um, build a bobbin. There's a little like coin up here and you're going to just take your stitches right behind there there's little little holes inside these bobbins 
and you're going to stick a piece of thread through the hole. Then you're going to wind it a few times. Get it started. Good. Sit it on top of the spool. Tighten it. And then back here on the other side, you turn. I'll show you that at the end of the video. Now this one doesn't have a place down here. A lot of them have a place down here to catch it. So you, I like to hold it. You don't necessarily have to. So you can let it go on its own. You go too fast, this is liable to fly off. And when it gets full, it's going to soak. I mean, it's going to stop. Then you pull it off. Let's go ahead and fill this one too, and I'll see if this one will work. It should. You have plenty of holes to choose from on this one. Wrap it again. Hmm. I don't understand why it's not going on there, but it's not. So, this sewing machine is just going to take those little narrow bobbins like that. And I'm sure to tell you in the manual. I do have a copy of the manual here. I haven't looked through it, but I'm sure it tells you what kind of bobbins you need to use. Okay, so I'll show you how to thread the machine. Oh, and also that before you start sewing again, you tighten that wheel. Okay, we start with our thread right here. Loop it through right there. Bring this up. Go through that hole right there. The hole. Come down this way behind this bar, behind these discs. Come up. I like to flip that doesn't always catch when I do it. Then come back down. Go behind here. Behind here. And you can go behind this one too. It's a little tricky. Let me go ahead and get the bobbin in. then make sure your end of your thread is fuzzy free. You can wet your finger if you want to and wet the end and that will straighten it up. You want it real sharp to go through there. And then the needle, I mean the bob, the thread, thread straight back this way. See if I've lined up good here. If you can see the what I was doing, I hope you could see what I was doing. Looks like the camera moved. I might have kicked it. So anyway, you're gonna thread it straight back this way. 
I have a feeling my camera moved. So I don't know for sure if you saw that threading or not. Oh, I wish I had a camera person. But I don't. I could run that by one more time and show you. Just make sure I got it threaded right. I'm about to run out of decent material here. Alright, so I didn't do something right. It's not sewing. Alright, let me go back and re-thread it. Hopefully you can see it this time. I did tighten that wheel. Got that the right way. Okay, we go through here, back here, 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 back behind that wire, and there's a little tiny little loop right there hopefully you can see and I'm just going to skip that other part and see if it will sew without it working. I think I bumped the camera. Hopefully, see if you can see what I'm doing. But anyway, that's working. I have it on zigzag now. I'll put it back on straight stitch. And then right here is where you adjust your stitch length. Also has a section over here hopefully all this is showing up front and the back Okay, I'm going to bring the camera over to the other side of the machine. And I'm going to show you what I talked about with the wheel right here. That's the part that you're going to loosen when you wind in the bobbin. See, you turn it that way. Then you hold this wheel right here with the other hand, tighten it back. And then right there is your plug-ins. Down there is foot pedal. Now over here we have the buttonhole dial. See you turn it to the buttonhole stitches see there to each position to make your buttonholes and the reverse and up here 
if you get additional cams for it you can um, make some other fancy stitches if you want to but you have the basic stitches to do about anything you want to me this is important these three stitch widths because you can do just about anything with the same foot you see that foot you can do straight stitch get that in here yeah with that universal foot you can do straight stitch and zigzag and your uh, blind hem stitch and buttonholes I mean you can do anything with that one with that particular foot when you have the needle position so you can still put a zipper in with that foot because you can move your needle position that's not the needle position here we go oh, I can get to it I can't see what I'm getting to needle position is somewhere I can't see good enough to see what I'm showing you but if you see the needle positions yeah. So you have left, center, and right. So you can move your needle and you can put a zipper in with that foot. See with the with it over like that. I can get the camera in there. Ne with the needle all the way over to that position. So anyway, I hope you get the general idea about this machine. It's a basic machine, a good starter machine, and you can sew just about anything you want with it. And to sew denim, just make sure you have the right needle in it for whatever you're sewing, whether it's knits, denim, you'll need about a size 16 needle.